can't do this without electricity. You can't have a, a, a district hospital without electricity uh, because you can't. You're not going to have an operating room. You're not going to have a laboratory. You're not going to be able to see people at night. You're not going to be able to admit people. Um, and so you really have to have power. And about 5% of Rwanda is on the power grid. So it's either two things, one of two things. Either generate your own electricity with a diesel generator or go solar. The current energy uh, situation is very bad. We are bringing in the uh, uh, fuel from Dar es Salaam, Mombasa, long distances by road. So it all um, makes everything uh, overall very expensive. We, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of generators in rural Africa. And, and it's draining economies. The money is leaving rural areas and going to, to pay for fuels. What is the future of solar in Africa? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be big. Yellow DeWalt driver box? Yeah. That's fine. And does he think that's been getting better or worse? When we first came here, we often didn't have electricity in the hospital, and you'd come in at night and try to take care of a patient, and, you know, I'd be doing exams with a headlamp on, and um, so it's obviously not ideal, and things like the lab machinery functioning and lots of other things, computers, I mean, being able to have the, uh, our internet work and have access to being able to talk to people in America quickly and get answers over the internet is just amazing and communicate with people at our other sites. Um, you know, having not just patient care capabilities, but then all the computer stuff is really makes it a much different experience than other places I've worked in Africa where you just kind of don't have that stuff and you know you're not going to get it and you just kind of have to accept not being able to provide the same standard of care because of those kind of constraints. So it's just nice to not have to worry about it and to know that, you know, things are going to work. Be, uh, that is the reason why I'm saying that solar energy is our solution.